Hey, what's everyone? This is today I'm going to be taking a look at the Transformers Shattered Glass Gold Book. So here is the packaging, which does look really, really cool. Before we get into the unboxing video, let me just discuss a few things. So, of course, this is a direct repaint of the Cliff Tripper mold, just a brand new head sculpt. Um, all the accessories are the same. The steps are all the same. Um, of course, it does come at the comic book, which we will be taking a look at in just a second. Of course, I will be reviewing this very soon, so do stay tuned for that. So let's get into this unboxing video. So here is Gold Book in the packaging but before we take them out let's take a look at the packaging so here is gold book which does look really really cool on that corner area there we have the shattered auto symbol we have shattered glass we have transformers right there on the side we do have some more artwork which looks really really nice on the back he transforms into 22 steps and uh, we do have some little text up here which I will read for you we have gold bug was once a young Cybertronian drifter known as bumblebee trying to survive on the streets of Pal Palo Hex after joining the Autobots bumblebee worked his way up the ranks and was the only soon offered his upgraded form and new identity as Goldbug. So that's a really, really cool little story there. Um, all of these Shattergloss figures do have them. Uh, we do have, of course, the two pictures, the um, vehicle mode and the robot mode, which does, does look really, really cool. I think the robot mode is a little bit um, not accurate. It is, of course, a stock photo, so they're not always the most accurate, but still very, very cool. It transforms into 22 steps, and that's pretty much it for the packaging. Um, before we open it up, let's take a look at the comic book. So let me just move that off to the side. And the comic book was uh, really nicely packaged this time, which I'm really really glad let me just zoom out a tad bit so we can take a better look at it so um yeah it was really really nicely packaged it was in a uh, nice plastic envelope um no damage at all which is really really nice um the blur comic i didn't have any damage or anything it's just it was not um properly packaged at all but here it is and i think it looks really really amazing really nice image there of gold bug and of course the typical transformers shatter glass text and of course the shattered pieces everywhere that looks just absolutely amazing i won't be going into much detail but i'm just gonna flip through a few pages to just show you what it looks like i think it looks really really nice all that stuff very very cool um, I might do a video coming up or maybe later when Shatter Glass has ended or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I'll do a video where I ha when I have all of the comic books from all five figures so far and I'll do a short video on that. I'm not sure. Uh, if you have any ideas what I should do with the comic books, if I should do a video or not, let me know in the comments. So let's crack them open. So let me just get my scissors here. I'm just going to cut it open at the top, cut that tape there, and cut that tape here there we go and then that should do it so let's just open that up and then we can open these little pieces here and slide this right out so there we go let me just put the packaging off to the side and out of the way. So there is Transformer Shatterglass Goldbug, which looks really, really cool. We have the two weapons there, the gold uh, little back piece there. We have the two little um, uh, snow pieces. So I um, just now realized, I did not know this, that um, one of the tips is blue and the other one is just completely black for those little pistols. I was not aware of that. Um, maybe I did <laughs> just forgot, or maybe I thought that was like a miss, uh, a bad image or something. It was a wrong image. But um, yeah, <laughs> I didn't know that. So let's uh, start taking him out of these twisty ties. And we can lower the camera and get him on out of there. And that was pretty easy. <laughs> so here is Shattered Glass Goldbug, the final figure I need for the uh, Cliff Jumper Mold Collection, and I'm very, very excited about that. That's really, really nice. That Autobot sim on the front looks absolutely amazing. Maybe not the best on camera, but right now it just looks really, really nice. Very clean, very nice. Um, uh, the head sculpt looks really, really good, too. Joints so far are, uh, tight. <laughs> um, maybe it could have just not been pegged in all the way, but overall, I think it's a really, really good-looking figure. Very, very cool. And there's the typical back piece, which you can take off, of course, and put it as a shield. So, let me just get that. We can get the peg, and peg that right in. And that's really, really nice. That looks really, really cool. 
Some people do not like it because it is considered parts forming. It doesn't bother me at all, but still very, very cool. Let me just take all those accessories out, and I'll just quickly show them, and that will be it. So now I have all the accessories out of the packaging, and let's just quickly take a look at them, and that will be it. So, of course, he does come with these two pistols. And again, I did not know this little tip uh, section was blue, and it is interesting why this other tip is not blue, but it does show that on the packaging. It shows that one of them has a blue tip and the other one doesn't, but... um. I'll probably watch several reviews just to confirm that this isn't like a defect copy or anything, but I don't think it is. Um, also, we do have this little piece here, which can attach onto the shield, and under the car it can hinge out. This is really for the car form, and it can hinge like that, and this little peg will go into that port on the shield. And these pieces uh, are on uh, part of the bazooka and under the wheels of the tires uh, for the vehicle mode. <clears throat> which is pretty cool. So yeah, there's all the pieces. Um, I think it looks really, really nice. I was able to pop that leg back into place. I think it just was uh, transported with a little bit, uh, not fully tabbed in, but now it is nice and sturdy, which is good. Uh, the shield looks amazing in my opinion. Love the gold on his um, uh, uh, shoulders. Just looks really, really good. So tell me what you think of this figure in the comment section below. Of course, review coming soon. And just so, so happy to get another Shadow Glass figure. Also, really, really happy to be finally done and complete with all of the Cliff Jumper molds. It's going to look absolutely amazing uh, to put them all together. And if you want to see that, I will compare them all in the review of this figure. So do stay tuned for that, uh, for the robot mode. And maybe also the vehicle mode as well. So do stay tuned for that. I think that's it. So I'll see you next